So we knew that Guazi was going to get RMC'd. We heard rumors that it was going to be a monster. And today, it looks like those rumors are true. Bush Gardens Tampa is getting a monster RMC for 2020. Guazi was a dueling GCI wooden coaster that opened at Busch Gardens Tampa on June 18, 1999 and closed for good on February 1, 2015. For a long time, Guazi was rumored to get the RMC treatment, but some people were wondering about the quality of the structure. But it was weird that they would keep it around for so long unless they had plans to do something with it. So finally, late last year, when they officially announced Tigris, their new for 2019 Skyrocket 2, they also mentioned something new in the Guazi area. We've also seen trademarks filed for various names in the SeaWorld chain, including Twisted Tiger, which looks more and more like what RMC Guazi could be named. In late 2018, we also saw the permit filed with Rocky Mountain Construction listed as the licensed professional, so everyone knew that RMC Guazi was pretty much guaranteed. Earlier this year, a rumor surfaced from First Drop Magazine that this would be over 200 feet tall with a 91 degree drop. And I thought this was ridiculous. I know that Steel Vengeance was always rumored to be a hyper-hybrid because it wasn't too far away from 200 feet to begin with, but Guazi barely stands over 100 feet. It just seemed unlikely to me that Busch Gardens would go so big with this coaster when a normal size RMC would do the job because there's nothing really like it in the area. But since the rumor stated that there would be an all-new lift hill structure and the existing dual lifts would be kept on as normal hills, it was a possibility. So finally, today, March 1st, Busch Gardens released a teaser video that confirms Guazi will in fact be RMC'd, and it will be the tallest, fastest, and steepest hybrid coaster. That's all we have right now. And I'm sure if it was the longest or if it broke any inversion or airtime records, they would have thrown that into the mix also. But those are three extremely impressive records as taking from Steel Vengeance. All we can see from the video is the lift hill, the first drop, and this wild tall inversion that looks a lot like the inversion under the lift hill of Steel Vengeance. It really isn't much, but it does in fact confirm that the rumors up to this point are true. It's getting the RMC treatment, and it will be a record-breaking hyper-hybrid. What an amazing coaster coming to an already outstanding park in Busch Gardens, Tampa. I'm sure everyone will want to get there as fast as they can to ride it after it opens in the spring or summer of 2020, but for everyone else on a budget, I'm just telling you that flights to Florida are super cheap in the winter, and this park's open all year, so there's no excuse not to get down there and experience this RMC monster. So now it's time for some coaster nerd speculation. Will this be the best RMC? I think it has the chance to be the second best given what we know right now, but without the length or airtime record that Steel Vengeance holds, it's hard for me to believe that it can top it, but we'll have to see. So that's going to be it for this video. I know I'll be headed back to Tampa in 2020 or maybe 2021 to ride this, but until then, we will all enjoy the great stuff coming our way in 2019.